Welcome to Sunlight Online, Teacher App. Upon logging in, teachers will be presented with the Teacher App. The Courses tab is shown by default. Courses can be displayed in card format or as a list. Above the course list, you may see notifications for grading or announcements. There's a notification for work that needs grading. Clicking this button brings you directly to the submissions that need to be manually graded. Any work that your student has submitted will be listed under Student Attachments. Click any of these attachments to download them for review. Enter the scores for these submissions. Include any feedback you'd like your student to see. Then click Submit Score. Your student will see these scores along with any feedback from the activity stream in the student app. Return to the Teacher app by clicking the menu, then clicking Teacher app. Each course can be given a nickname. This can be helpful if you teach multiple students across different levels by allowing you to quickly identify who belongs to a particular course. This nickname can be changed or removed at any time. Click the ellipses for a course and click Edit Course Nickname. Type the name or names of the student enrolled in this course and click Save. The nickname now appears below the course title. Viewing Activities To view the course syllabus or activities, click the course card. At the top of each course's activity list, you'll see various resource activities. Sunlight has placed important instructional resources within each course that include book lists, applicable maps, timeline items, and other appendices that would normally be found in a paper instructor's guide. Other course-specific resources include downloadable activity sheets for language arts and science. These downloadable resources are for your personal online use only and not for distribution otherwise. Simply click a resource activity to view it. Each resource is presented as an interactive book. Its main sections are listed on tabs or bookmarks. Clicking one of these bookmarks will bring you directly to that section. The search function allows you to find specific text within the document. Click search, then type your search term, and press enter. Selecting any of the results will take you directly to its location within the document. Close the search box when finished. The left and right arrows can be used to navigate through the book pages individually. Use the zoom function to enlarge the page content if needed. Click and drag the page to move around while zoomed. You may also view the book in full screen mode. To exit full screen mode, Click the full screen button again, or hit escape on your keyboard. To return to the course syllabus, click the back arrow. Activities are divided into folders for weeks and days. Click the arrow beside a folder to show or hide its contents. Each day contains a set of activities, which include assignments and notes. Note pages are only visible to the teacher and contain additional information for a given activity. Simply click an activity from the list to view it. Clicking the week will show the full week schedule. Use the Next and Previous Activity buttons located at the top and bottom of the page to navigate through the course content. Depending on the prerequisites you've set up, your student may need to click Mark this activity complete in order to proceed to the next activity.